What's up guys? I wanted to share my experience that I just had with the Comp Cams LS Valve Spring Compressor part number 5462 This is meant for all L series heads LS3, L76, LS1, LS2, LS7 um, It has if you can see that left slot uh, you can move the bolt back and forth which works great for my LS3 heads that have the offset rocker bolt pattern anyway um, everything worked fine for the first uh, first three cylinders on this driver's side and then I got to the last one and I was having trouble getting the spring centered over the valve as I was compressing it so I could get the locks on there and then release the spring back up and it catch the locks properly so um, anyway just to back up a little bit um, I used the supplied bolts that comp sent um, uh, one doesn't have a washer on it at the moment just because I lost, lost it just uh, just a little while ago but um, uh, when I was using it I did have the washers like this one has and the instructions say to to put it on the rocker arm pedestal which I did and as you can see, that is the only amount of thread that goes into the rocker bolt hole, and I've measured it, and it's only one eighth of an inch. So basically, it's come off a little bit, but basically, you've got two bolts, and you've got an eighth of an inch of bolt thread going into the rocker bolt holes. Um, the instructions say to tighten these bolts to 10 to 15 foot pounds, which I did. Um, so, anyway. I'm going to set this down real quick. And yes, I did lubricate this one. That, that one was not the issue. Um, and I did, of course, you know, I did everything properly. I used that base and lubricated the inside of it. But anyway, um, I was having trouble getting the, the uh, keepers on because the, uh, the spring kept getting off center of the valve. So probably two to three times I would compress the spring... I would release the spring, compress it, release it, um, trying to reposition the spring as I released it and brought tension off the spring um, just so I could get the uh, valve centered in the spring properly. So anyway, on the, uh, I believe, third time, I finally had it just right and I had it compressed all the way down. Not all the way down. The, the springs were not compressed all the way down. They were probably, I don't know, they were probably down to, to about right there. You know, enough to get the keepers on, but not, not a whole lot past that. Um, and I'm sitting here, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to need the flashlight for this. All of a sudden, I hear a boom, and my rocker arm pedestal, which, hang on just a minute, I had part of it over here. My rocker arm pedestal, pedestal sheared in half, like so. This part came off and hit me right above the eye and left a big nasty knot. And all the parts went flying. And let me see if I can get the flashlight down here so you can see. Alright, you see in, I hope you can see, there are threads that go all the way to the top on all of these, all the way to the top of the rocker and bolt hole. Well, in these last two, um, the top eighth of an inch the internal threads on the head are completely stripped out and it's smooth and the threads ended up on the bolts which are I peeled off and they are now right there so now I'm going to pull that head and I'm going to take it to the machine shop and have those two uh, holes helicoiled just because I'd rather a professional do it and I don't trust myself to try and drill and re-tap that um, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the other head, um, and just do them off the car while I'm, while I've got one head off. But I believe all this could have been solved if the bolts that they supplied were just longer. Um, because I don't think that an eighth of an inch of bolt protruding into the head is enough to safely, um, hold it if you're putting this product under any stress or pressure whatsoever. Uh, and one more little thing. Not that it was a really big deal, but the holes that these two silver bolts go into, I had to actually drill them out just a tad because they wouldn't go through. 
And I, granted, I didn't have to drill them out much, but, you know, the product should be ready to use when you get it. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to document my experience and my uh, dissatisfaction with what I'm having to do right here. Because now I've got, you know, obviously at least one new head gasket. Um, I don't have to replace any bolts, but, you know, fluids, head gasket, and then machine time and labor and all that. And then go out and get me some longer bolts that will properly hold this to my head and not cause a safety risk. Yeah, I thought of one more thing after I stopped this video. Um, I've also got to get a new uh, rocker arm pedestal since that was sheared in half. No idea what the cost is on that. And the only reason I was changing out the valve springs, I run a, a fairly aggressive cam for a stock converter car. It's like a 636 lift. So my valve springs, my dual valve springs had had about uh, 30,000 miles on them. So I was just changing over to new ones for safety's sake. Um, and uh, just for the record, I did. I was using compressed air in the cylinder, so the valves were all the way up, and they were not sinking any. So I did not have the springs compressed all the way down whatsoever.